a nameless kept the well pure and clean and its overflow became a brook and then a powerful stream gathering into a noble river to the great sea and its fair waters refreshed trees and flocks and men. Sir Nameless never knew the bounty that others enjoyed because of his faithfulness. This man deserved to be honored. He deserved more than the honor of men. He deserved the honor of the king, and that he shall receive in abundance. Thy counsel was for him to leave his post, to join a celebration in his honor. But I wanted to encourage him. Surely that is not wrong. I am but words that tickle the ears are not always best for the heart. Sir Nameless knew his duty. He was to guard his post, standing vigilant against the wiles of the Black Knight. Then... Then the request from Calum, the man I met in the valley, was that... I... I was deceived by the Black Knight himself. And it was my counsel that betrayed this good knight to his death. And now thou hast a choice. Thou canst grieve for thy error. Ask forgiveness. Learn thy lesson and move forward. Or thou canst dwell with thy grief and guilt as a millstone around thy neck, and thy darkened life shall be redeemed only as a lesson for others. If thou would accept my counsel, move forward. I can see thou art a good knight, and I know it would please the king. The king? The path of the righteous is not determined by the fall, but by the rising after the fall. Rise, Sir Constant. At Lamplighter Theatre, we're producing stories with a purpose. Stories that give biblical insight into parenting, character, and a Christian worldview. Come visit us at lamplighter.net.